Hello and welcome to all Erasmus participants out there in Europe to the final video of the Austrian group for our um, Erasmus project Mensana in Cooperesano. I'm really glad to host you for the last time. But before we start with the main topic, I want to thank all pupils, teachers and of course headmasters for their kindness during the last two years. I especially want to thank Mr. Erasmus Giovanni Santoro and Mrs. Erasmus Angelica Kapla for organizing everything. The main issue at the last exchange in France will be sports. And this is why we have compared two different kinds of sports. First you will see a little bit about sports like we do every week in school. And then you will see an interview with Dever Orgil, a Jamaican international who is currently playing for a football club in the first Austrian football league. Have fun! Yeah, first of all, Deva, thank you for taking your time uh, for this interview. Um, you've won the title in Finland. Why did you decide to come to Austria? Yeah, I mean, definitely it was uh, it was a nice uh, way to end or finish my time in in Finland. I've been there for four years, done a good good seasons there, and uh, had a good good atmosphere. But I I realized it's time to take the next step to come to Austria, and coming to Austria was a good move for me because I'm all about my family also. Wolfsburg is a perfect place for family and um, very good atmosphere. And I thought Austria is also a nice place to live because it's quite beautiful, the mountains, everything. And um, I wanted to just take the next step in my career. It would be nice. Yes, obviously, they will be playing in the qualification round in the Champions League for next year. But it's not all about that. It's about taking the next step in your career. And I think this was the right decision for me. Um, in your opinion, um, which are the main differences between Austria and Finland, not only in football, but also um, in culture and in the whole land? Yeah, I mean, living the safety wise, it's quite it's quite equal living in a safe place. But uh, in, in the football, the development and, and, and how you you play here, it, the quality is much better than Finland. Finland is a place where you can start out as a professional football player in Europe and move and take the next step. It's a good place to start. But when you talk about level and playing performance and individual skills, I think it's better, better in Austria and also as, as a football player who always wants to continue to climb the ladder. I think having Austria in the middle of everything, it gives you a good step to other places. Say for instance, Germany, you play, do well in, in Austria, you can do well in, you can go to Germany and stuff like this. These are stuff that I think a lot of young players would be looking towards taking next step from, from Austria, which gives you this chance to do so. But do you think, are there many cultural differences? Like, I wouldn't say uh, like 
cultural differences, um, it, it's quite equal both in Finland and, and, and Austria. In terms of like, say for instance, you have um, a lot of, in, in Finland we have a lot of, a uh, lot more international players, I think. <laughs> Definitely we have a lot more international players there and stuff like that. We have a lot of, um, a lot of uh, good quality players, but when you put it all together, it's not as equal as it is playing in, in Austria. The league is more intense and yeah. You've also talked about the development in Austria and so on. Um, do you have to train or exercise harder here in Austria? The level of the level and performance here is much better. The trainings that we had in Finland it, is not the same as here. Here you can say you're training like a pro. And that's what I also like because I think I, as a professional football player, in order to perform the way you're supposed to perform, you have to train at a high intensity level where you can perform for 90 minutes, definitely. You're from Jamaica, which is quite a sunny state. Um, so was it hard for you to accustom with the temperatures here in Austria or in Finland? Well, well, when I when I left Jamaica when I was 17, I went to Vancouver. Mm. So Canada also have similar weather to uh, to Austria, I, I will say. But it, of course, at first it was like, oh, what am I doing? Am I crazy? <laughs> it's it's so hot in Jamaica. But then I came. But I will do anything to 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 take the next step in my career. In Jamaica, there wasn't much option for me, and f the adjustment for me wasn't so bad. When I got to Canada, it was good. The weather, I started to like it and stuff. And then that's when I took the next step to Finland, and it, the Finland was even colder than Vancouver. And then coming to Austria was kind of a little bit evening it out with Austria and Vancouver weather. So that was not too bad. It's all about striving to reach the top. At the moment, there are many strikers in the club. Um, do you feel some kind of pressure? I mean, like, I wouldn't say I feel I feel pressure, but it's always good to have a competition because when you have competition in a team, it makes you stay focused and want to do well. When you're too relaxed, then you just do whatever you want, and then nobody wants to see a player that goes out on the field and just does whatever he wants. Everyone wants to see a player that goes out there and fight for the team and not only for himself because the team comes first, you know, mm -hmm. and you're second. So, And for me, I'm always a fighting player. I'm a team player and I'll continue to do that. And at the end of the day, it's a coach's decision to put out his first 11. That's not my decision. My decision is to perform in training and games and then hopefully we can do well, winning titles, doing well for the team. That's most important for me. But although you're a team player, um, do you also set yourself targets for a season? Uh, most times, uh, so sometimes I, I don't like to set these targets because then you find yourself being a selfish player and I don't want to do this. Say for instance, I said, oh, okay, maybe I want six goals okay. before the end of, but then sometimes I can find myself in, in positions that I can pass the ball, but because I want those six goals, I don't pass it to somebody who's in a better position. You know, these are mental things that you have to work on also. So sometimes when you do that, you, you make it, you make pressure for yourself. It's better when you go into the game and say, okay, I'm going to do well and goals will come. I do this. I, I, I prefer to do this. Work hard and goals will come. Um, you've already played in many different countries, as you said, Canada, Finland, now Austria. Do you like traveling and seeing new places? I think traveling is, is a very nice thing and, and experiencing different cultures and different living ways, ways of living and also w with my kids too for them to, to you know, enjoy this adventure because the life of a, of a football player is not very easy but you actually get to do a lot of fun things while, and then having my two kids and my wife and stuff taking them to different, different places I think it's also nice for them I enjoy doing this and stuff but of course there comes a time when you want to settle and say okay the kids need to go to school and stuff like this but away from all of that it's it's nice to travel and to play and to enjoy and to know what others are like and and others pe other people type of living this is also nice and after your career do you want to go back to Jamaica or do you want to stay in another country we were th me and my wife were thinking about where we wanted to live it's not for sure yet it all depends on um, you know my 
education for my kids is very important. So let me say it like this. In Jamaica, we don't have the best health care and education, but in Europe, it's very good. It allows you to become what you want to become because instead of going to a university and paying for loans after this university, you can go and, and get this education for free and become what you want in Europe, which I thought is a fantastic way to do it for the kids. I think the kids are more focused when they do it rather than, you know, like you always have to use every m money that you have to pay for school and then you have nothing after when you start to work you're paying it all back you know and i think this is good so first for this reason we would rather to live in europe for our kids but obviously the the life in jamaica is nice because the beaches and everything but it's not all about that either so we haven't fully decided where we want to live you are a very fast player um do you have a secret for your velocity on the field honestly I will say this, like I'm sure a lot of people know, you know, like with Jamaicans, they they are fast, but it's not, this is all a cliche. It's not just but Jamaicans are fast. I know personally for myself, in when I was growing up, I did athletics and stuff, and I always wanted to do this athletics. And then when I started to play football, I used what I learned in my, in my athletic training onto the field because then I, and I, when I was a, I'm becoming a striker and stuff, I thought that would be a good weapon. When you can run and beat a defender, then what else you need to do is to try to score the goal. So I thought that was good. But um, we, I trained a lot on my speed also. It's not just that I was born with this. I work a lot on, on sprinting, say sharpness and stuff like that when I was growing up also. So this is a big part and it's all paying off now. Do you have any role models, so players where you think um, they are the best in the world and you want to play like them? Yeah, before before all of, before all of this time, I always liked Thierry Henry, but now Thierry Henry never plays anymore. But I always liked him as a good role model. I thought he was a very good goal scorer and stuff. But like right now, obviously, like the Ronaldo and the Messi and stuff like that, everyone likes them. But to be honest with you, uh, Zlatan is one of the guys that I say is a very, very good goal scorer. I like Zlatan because I think Zlatan is, is a very confident guy, is a very good goal scorer, and he's always in the right place. Honestly, and being a striker, being in the right place, that's very important because you don't have to be the best striker. Once you put yourself in the right position and get your chance to score and you score, then that's it. That's great. So I think right now Zlatan is one of the, the guys that I really like. Okay. Probably my favorite now. Your home country is quite famous for athletes like Usain Bolt. Um, in your opinion, um, why is the uh, national football team of Jamaica not that successful? I, I think in Jamaica we put a lot more uh, into the athletics based on the, what we got out of it. You know what I mean? Because uh, when you when you go to the Olympics and having these games and stuff like that, we're always successful. Mm -hmm. But when you play in the football, Jamaica doesn't stand out as much. So I think I think the country says, okay, well, let's put more, say, for instance, training facilities for the athletics mm -hmm. instead of the football because it's more successful the athletics. So I think it makes sense in case I don't know why the football players individually we have some good players, but as a team for some reason we don't have that bond and that connection to reach as far as other teams do. But Athletics is quite individual, so it's up to your individual standards and what you do, wh how you get your results. So f thinking of, of that, I think we're just better as being individuals. <laughs> That's what I think, because having Usain Bolt running for himself is good, and having when you're running a relay or something like that, it's also quite individual. It's based on how much you can do to get to the other person to give the button and stuff like that. So I think we're, maybe we're just better at individual sport. <laughs> yeah. So my last question is, um, do you have any advice for our viewers um, how to keep your body in shape? Yeah, uh, it's keeping your body in shape is not an easy thing. I will say that to, to the public for sure. It's really not an easy thing. And being a professional, there's so many times that you just want to go and eat just whatever you want. But you know to perform, you can't do that. Of course, at times, if you take here and there some stuff that are not good for the body, it's also okay. But what you need to do is to focus on the right things that you eat. And not only what you eat, you need to train to to, to able to maintain what you're eating. And at the same time, it's not about just training. The most important part of being fit is what you eat. 
So that's the, the main focus. It's your intake is what helps you to perform out there as an athlete or whether you're a gymnast or a sprinter or anything. The food in the kitchen is the most important thing. Okay. Yes. Thank you very much, Deva. Yes, you're welcome. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. you. Yes. This is the end. After two years of amazing experiences, I will have to say goodbye now for the last time. I'm thankful for everything we've made and I'm really sure that we will see us sometime. Goodbye Europe, goodbye France. <laughs>